I think I'm too early because tell me the one day I come outside looking for these people, they're not here. And I gotta get back so I can put my laundry in the dryer. I was ready. Like, those pants would have looked so cool in black and white. I might try again later, but I'm not trying to walk all the way back out here. All right, y'all, I managed to get one. That is your girl. <laughs> Isn't that the coolest though? They do it on an old fashioned, like, newspaper and right now it's like 11 30 in the morning i would say come after 12 because i was looking around and i couldn't find anybody and i got really lucky and i found the lady at the last minute right when i was about to head out but isn't that the coolest this is the best souvenir and it's uh they take donations so you can give whatever Nah, the way I just ran out of there, y'all. <laughs> they be spotting you if you a tourist or if they think you got money. Your girl don't got money. Um, I just did like a couple cents donation. I got my paper. I'm so excited. It's a really great, easy souvenir. And yeah, I had one of those people with the boxes run up after me. Like they're out there every day. At least every day I've been here asking for donations. Some people said it's to help with Ukraine. Some people said it's to help with other stuff. Oh no, they're just asking for money. Once again, I don't know if it's legit, but she ran after me. She saw I got one of these and she ran after me like, wait, wait. And I turned around really quickly and I walked away. I know. Anyways, my day is done. My day is done, y'all. I'm going back to do laundry. I got my souvenir. I got snacks for the bus tomorrow and a sandwich. I gotta go look up what the sandwich says. I don't know what I picked out. And my Google Translate went download on the spot. Whew. Anyways, I'm, I'm good. Once again, Warsaw owes me nothing. Also, I was trying to figure out what was going on because there was a whole demonstration or presentation in the main old town, like market, the square area. So yeah, I try to. I'm in the news right now. I'm in Warsaw news, trying to figure out if it's a religious holiday or if it's a celebration or commemoration or anything like that. Cause something's clearly going on. There's a presentation in the square behind me as well. There's guards out. It is important to not be totally ignorant when you're in a foreign place and know what's happening around you. So I'm gonna keep digging around in the news. Not this news, not the fake tourist picture news, but the actual news and see if I can figure out what's going on. Aside from that, we going back. I'm about to spray some perfume on this alpha recycle it cause I was only out for like 30 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Fresh laundry coming in, but I like this outfit. This might be the outfit I wear to Prague cause all my clothes are very limited right now, unfortunately. And yeah, I'm a chill. It's editing day, it's only like it's not even noon yet, but to be honest, I have no business outside anymore. Like I said, Warsaw owes me nothing. It's hot. I just shampooed my wig. I need to condition it or get some moisturizer. My hair needs moisturizer so bad. My hair took a toll on this trip, y'all. I hate that for me. I hate that. I know when I get to Amsterdam, I'm gonna find the beauty supplies I need. I'm hoping that Prague will come through with the black girly products because my hair is dry and crying right now. Screaming for help, baby. Budapest, Vienna, and Poland, y'all let me down. Or I let myself down because I don't know where to look for these products. But yeah, we done here, honey. Thank you, Warsaw, for an amazing vibe. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to get my life together. <laughs> like, <laughs> I will be taking a month off just about to take a break from D&D &D and focus on some other stuff because I'm still a creative and I work on different things. But this has been fun. <laughs> this has been so fun. Like, I was a little nervous going to these new countries but as a traveler whether it's somewhere i've already been or somewhere i haven't experienced before there's nothing like experiencing a new place you've never been to like i'm in poland <laughs> i'm in poland baby what she's in poland like what what am i doing i'm in poland and i just got a newspaper with a picture of me on it <laughs> But yeah, I'm about to go snatch my wig off and I'm praying that when we get to Prague, we can get some moisturizer in my hair. Cause baby, I know they have it somewhere. I just don't know where to look. All I'm seeing is shampoo and conditioner. Like, okay, I get that we're washing our hair, but like, how are we moisturizing it? For black girls specifically. But yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna go pack and get everything handled. And then I'm gonna figure out what I wanna do for Amsterdam, whether I'm gonna stay with my Oma or well, she's not there, but if I'm gonna stay at my Oma's house, or if I'm gonna get a spot real quick just to like have a little space. I don't know, but damn, first time in Warsaw, 10 out of 10. Krakow was nice too, 10 out of 10 as well. Budapest is more, has my heart. Oh man, 
Anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. I gotta go snatch this off. I'm tired. I'm about to lay down and edit for the rest of the day and watch Power Book 2.